So yes, Retribution is another classic Liam Neeson movie, but I actually think this one is really, really good. I mean, it's an action thriller about a businessman who suddenly finds himself in a bit of a high speed, intense situation with a bomb in his car, along with his kids in his car as well. And if you really do like action movies, especially starring Liam Neeson, then I think you're going to love this film and really eat it up alive, as it is really, really enjoyable. I mean, it does have a couple of questionable moments in there for sure, but I think it's a really, really cool one, and it's got a really brilliant twist right at the end too. And the mysterious voice on the phone is pretty controlling and pretty threatening as well, and you have definitely heard this voice in a lot of other movies and TV shows before, especially The Watcher. I mean, all of the sequences in the car, of which there are a number of them, I feel like they are actually pretty dramatic. If anything, I would have loved all of the mystery task solving that this guy has to do, as those sequences are really, really good. In terms of other movies that you can compare it to, I definitely think you can compare it to Speed, in which it shares a lot of similarities, and a little bit like Unhinged, starring Russell Crowe too, and of course The Fugitive with Harrison Ford, in terms of being involved in this crazy situation where he is actually innocent and is being made to feel like the actual villain in this event. Like I said, the twist right at the end of this movie is actually really, really good. I was caught off guard by it, but a lot of people that I watched it with were saying, no, you could have seen that twist coming a mile off. And what I do really, really like is that there is so much more than meets the eye with this film, as at first, you just think, you know, it's just a standard guy who just wants to take a lot of money and just take advantage of this situation. But then you actually find out that it's actually so much more than that. And it really does teach you a lot of business lessons as this guy is a true financier. So it really does teach you A, who you go into business with and B, more importantly, how you treat your clients as any one of them can actually come back and try to get revenge on you. And this movie is set in Germany, which does make it a little bit different to, you know, the typical thing that you see in Los Angeles and New York City, and of course into London as well. So it was really, really cool to see something different. And if you have been to Berlin, then you will have recognized a number of different sequences that take place over there. I mean, the acting in this movie is a little bit questionable, but I do think it does actually work in terms of the tone that they are creating with this movie. Liam Neeson is really, really brilliant at being Liam Neeson. I think is really, really cool creating this new character that like I said is absolutely obsessed with his work and has that classic storyline of you know if you had more time then of course you would spend it with your family which I do think is a big lesson that this guy does learn. He has got his son who is played brilliantly by Jack Champion but I just couldn't get away from the fact that you know this guy plays a really iconic character in Avatar The Way of Water and of course in Scream 6. So I just feel like because of those two roles I just couldn't see this guy as anything else but you know, he is really good for what he has to do here. And of course, you have Ariane Moyet. He isn't in this movie for that long, but it is really, really cool to see the guy that, you know, has appeared in Spider-Man No Way Home, as well as Succession. So it's really, really cool to see him here. And we've also got Noma in this movie too, brilliantly playing the detective. And we, of course, know her, you know, first, she was in the live action adaptation of The Cursed Child. She was then in The Undoings, playing opposite Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant. She was then in The Little Mermaid, and she was also in The Watcher, which I mentioned before. So I love the fact that, you know, she really is building her acting roles, as her acting pedigree is actually really, really wicked. I mean, the VFX in this movie are actually pretty explosive. There are a number of different explosive sequences that take place in this movie, and they are actually pretty elaborate, and you are actually believing them when they take place in this movie. So, you know, overall, I did actually really enjoy Retribution a lot more than I thought I would have done, as I was going into this movie thinking that it's going to be a bit of a throwaway film, but it was actually really, really good, a really gripping thriller. And so for all of those reasons, I'm going to give Retribution a solid 6.5 out of 10. Now I'd love to hear what you thought of Retribution, so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.